On today's show, we're going to talk about the new 2024 Ford Ranger in XL trim, and I'm going to do a build and price on this, and I'm going to show you that there is a lot of value in this truck. And, well, midsize trucks are getting expensive, but you don't have to buy the most expensive to get all the fun features. So join in right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is David Boyd. I'm an auto journalist, and I do love these midsize trucks. So let me show you. Go to the Ford's website, and this is their trim, their lineups. you got the XL, the XLT, the Larry, and the Raptor. Of course, the Raptor is you're going to get everything. You're getting all the goodies. There's nothing they're leaving out and the XL on the other end of it well you're just kind of starting out and starting out at 36,315 and that Raptor gets you about $55,000 before options and I think starting at 36 I think there's a lot of value there so let's go ahead and start that building price and we start off with colors everybody likes there's a certain color you like it sets the tone the attitude of the vehicle so uh, I'll go through these real quick shadow black on the trails for me if I'm using this as just a adventure rig maybe you know daily truck but Black, I love the black way a black vehicle looks, but they just show scratches like crazy. So I don't know about that one for me. The uh, Oxford White is a very simple, you know, yes, this is like every box retailer or whatever has seems like this color truck. Uh, but guess what? It doesn't show scratches as much. Then you get to the Iconic Silver, which is in that white vein of, uh, you know, you can take care of it. You can go on adventures, I think. Um, and it's not going to show scratches as bad. Then forwards a uh, Hot Pepper Red Metallic Tint Coat tinted clear coat if you could say that five times fast uh i'll give you a hundred dollars because that is a uh it's a fun color it's got that kind of red look to it with just a little bit of orange uh tint to it and uh changes in light it's pretty interesting next up we have carbonized gray you cannot go wrong gray trucks are just they're in they're in vogue all the time man. they're a fashionable looking vehicle an exciting color is the velocity blue metallic which i don't know that i would want on the trails personally it's a little flashy for me but you know might not be for you and finally, to wrap this thing up is the cactus gray. The cactus gray is kind of that throwback color that Ford's been doing on the Broncos. They did it on the last generation Ranger, and it's a good looking color. And I think if you want some color that's easy to maintain, that's probably the right color for you. And it's going to be the right color for me because I think the truck looks great. And we'll just kind of skim through this real quick. Let me bring this up. Skim through that. It looks really good. And it's one of those that the computer images just never do it justice. Something about this color that looks pretty close to what it is there, but then you see it in different lights. It just never comes through. But I think that's a good looking color. And for my four wheel drive adventure truck, I think that will do just nicely. Next up, we have the 2.3 liter uh, little four cylinder this thing, the EcoBoost. And it is a fine engine. Now, is it the best engine option they have? Well, no. Down the road, you're going to be able to get the 2.7 twin turbo V6 in this thing, making about 315 horsepower. But as it stands, this truck makes about 280 horsepower, which is plenty. You can tow with this thing. This truck has a great tow rating. You can uh, do lots of stuff with this. And if you leave it alone, get great fuel economy in this and for a big mid-sized truck like they are that means something of course we have the four-wheel drive system in it already and it's included with the open style rear axle and all that means is it's not locked up and if you've ever been out on the trails and you're having a hard time with you know slipping around you're going to want that electronic rear locker and as you can see here 420 dollars it's well worth it i'm telling you 420 dollars you're never going to notice that and if you are ever stuck and you just push that little locker button in a lot of many cases it, it's like an easy button it just helps you get over obstacles or if you're in mud just you have both wheels spinning now and the more grip you have the better you are now being an xl it comes with the standard equipment let's look at what it comes here so you're going to get that two three engine we just talked about with the 10 speed automatic transmission and i know people out there wanted a manual transmission but sadly ford's just not going to do that you're going to get the 10 inch display with center stack so you're going to get the big 10 inch display here you're also going to get the eight inch screen in the dash which is nice because lower trim vehicles as this one here you're not you're not stuck with the old style you know the little tack you know we're in the modern age and you want a modern appearance to your vehicle and you get all those cool gauges you're going to get the 17 inch wheels because that's part of the stx package you're going to get the led reflector headlamps with high beams auto high beams you're going to get uh fog lights and all kinds of stuff you're getting the big one to me is the sync 4a so sync it, it works great i'm very happy with the sync setup um i put it up with what uh, Jeep is doing right now with their Uconnect. I like both of those systems. So they're easy to use. And guess what? They offer Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with that. So that's a plus over maybe the GM twins because, well, <clears throat> they're ditching that. They want you to pay for their Google system. Now, being the, to the package, once again, we'll just kind of hit the highlights. You're going to get fog lamps, which I think is a big deal for an entry level vehicle. That's standard. You're not paying any extra to get kind of fog lamps, so that's a big deal, right? You're going to get the STX badging, as you can see, on the side of the truck there, so that's pretty cool. 17-inch wheels. They're a silver-painted aluminum wheel, so they look cool. 
You're going to get the headlamps, fog lamps, and premium cloth bucket seats, which I have to say, I think the, the bucket seats in this thing, the materials they use are very nice. And we're going to get into that a little bit down the road. So trailer towing package. Yes, all day long. It's $495. And you may kick yourself for not getting it down the road because you might say, Dave, I can buy this at U-Haul or something. I can buy the hitch and receiver and all that. And yes, you can cheaper, but you still have to wire it up. And these are not considered plug and play harnesses. So there's a little bit of effort to them. And if you're not as handy as you think you are, or you might want to be, it's probably worth the $500 because you're never going to notice that $500 in your, uh, your payment or your lease payment. So now as you can see here, we get one choice for wheels, which is no big deal. So we're going to get the uh, side cap manual folding. So they're the black mirrors. I think they look great with the vehicle, especially in this particular color. Do we need splash guard mud flaps for the front and rear? Now, because I'm going to use this as an adventure vehicle, I'm going to rip those off on the trails. So I say no for me. But if you're just using this for daily use, city use, I would say yes, go ahead and get the mud flaps. It's not much, $130. But personally, I know what I would do with this vehicle. I would just rip those off. So pick up box extender so you can fold this bed down. It's a little extender that comes out if you're holding plywood, something very long. It gives you just a little more uh, room to uh, carry longer stuff. Bed liner with the uh, drop in for $345, or you can get for $495 the spray in bed liner. All day long, I'm getting the spray in bed liner because I think this should be standard in pickup trucks. Now, why this is not, you know, this whole spray in for 30 years has been like some unobtainium thing that we, you know, you got to pay extra for. I feel like it should be standard in these pickup trucks, but to keep costs down, I understand, you know, they're trying to, uh, to make this a more affordable vehicle. But yes, all day long, I, I want the spray in bed liner because I don't want the back of my truck all just beat to hell, honestly. And if I keep the outside nice and then you look in the, the back of the truck and it's beat the piss because you were carrying stuff in it, that would aggravate me. Uh, next up, we have paint protection film, which I'm going to say don't do. Uh, I think aftermarket handles that. And I do suggest on any new vehicle getting some uh, paint protection film on this. But just just on don't, don't do it. I think it's a dealer add-on. Uh, Ford, you, you buy it through Ford, but they do it at the dealership. So if you want your vehicle in a hurry, it might uh, slow down that process. So cargo management management rails. Let's take a look at these real quick. These are interesting. As you can see here in the bed, it gives you a little bit more places to strap stuff down. So if you're uh, maybe you're carrying a small motorcycle or something like that, and you need more places to uh, attach it to, that might be handy for you. And for $535, that's not bad, but I would never use those personally. I've had those in other midsize trucks and just never ended up using them. Though I do find if I needed it, it would probably be handy, but for what I want to do with this vehicle, I say, no, thank you. Finally, side window deflector, low profile. No, I, I can do all that. You can go to AutoZone or somewhere and buy some of that stuff. Rear window with flex, uh, with fixed glass. Well, that's kind of a bummer. It's included, but it's not an option to get a sliding uh, window in this thing. So that's kind of a bummer, but it would be nice to have that. Running boards in black. Let's see. There they are. I Once again, I'm going to tear those up. Um, if you need this for a daily daily driver, you just want a pickup truck, 100% get those because, well, I will say these trucks, they're a little step up. They're not these little little low rider trucks anymore. These these trucks, these midsize trucks are getting taller. So I would say that, but for me personally, I'm going to pass on that. So tonneau cover for $600. They don't have a picture, sadly, on this website. But if you're, uh, you know, you're using your vehicle for trips, traveling a lot, I would do that. You throw your suitcases back there. You don't have to worry about it. The tailgate locks with this truck. So uh, I would feel pretty secure with that. Spare tire lock. No, thank you. I don't live in an area where I've got to worry about my spare tire like that. Engine block heater. No, thank you. Once again, I do not live up north. I understand there's a need for it, but where I'm at, I don't need it. The security code keyless entry pad. Now let's look at this real quick because and you can see here, you set your code and you can literally lock your keys in your truck. If you're at the beach or something, you can do that and type in your code, open up the vehicle and you're good to go. Um, personally, I've never needed that. It's only a hundred bucks. So I, if I would say, if you feel like you need to, uh, you know, maybe you're out adventuring or something and you want to lock up that vehicle, maybe that would be good for you. But for me personally, I just don't see that wheel lock kit. No, thank you. Those are one of those dealer things that just for some reason, dealers love wheel locks. I don't, I, I don't hear of many people wanting to steal factory wheels anymore, but if, you know, if you live in an area where maybe crime is a little more prevalent, maybe you want that now interior. This is uh this is uh where I want to spend some time. This, the days of these cost seats just being garbage are over. They're over. I really, I was surprised when I was at the press event for this vehicle, I was surprised how nice the cost seats are. And I will say they feel comfortable. They don't feel hot and sticky, like maybe leather would. So I'm, I'm a big, 
I think, uh, yes, this is, uh, I mean, obviously we don't have any options. I think if you're looking for basic transportation, I feel like these would be easy to clean if you get dust, dirt, grime all over them. I feel like they really would be easy to clean. So that's pretty nice. And as we take a look around, here is that big 10 inch screen. As you can see there, you get all your HVAC controls with real knobs, real knobs. Trucks always need real knobs because people are doing truck things. Maybe you're in the cold in and out of your truck a lot. you got gloves on. The idea of trying to uh, push button your way through a, a screen would, would stink. Here, once again, is that the screen, the digital screen in the middle, which is very nice. I've seen it in person, active, and it looks great. As you can see at the bottom, you're going to get US A and B or C down there. You actually get a the manly shifter down there, which uh, I like better than what the Ranger Raptor is getting. Years ago, this, this steering wheel, you wouldn't have had any of these functions, so you're getting all your uh, hands-free device so you know bluetooth if you're wanting to actually use this vehicle throw your phone in the console and i know some states require that you can turn the volume up answer your phone that way is very nice the vents and the total layout of this vehicle is probably my favorite of the interior of all mid-sized trucks so uh i'm big i'm big on that I'm very big on that. So as you can see here, though, you're only going to get manual air conditioning single zone, which means your uh, significant other, your partner, whoever on the other side of you, they've got to deal with the temperature that the driver likes, right? So it's not always a bad thing. Roadside assistance, no thank you. First aid kit for 50 bucks, no. I think I could do better, probably at Sam's Club or somewhere, buy a better a better kit than what they're going to offer. Floor liners, trayless, uh, less carpeted matching floors. So if you click this, it's going to kick you into, as, as of now, the flooring on this truck is all rubberized. And it's going to kick you into wanting to do carpet. Watch, we'll do it. I'll show you. Carpeted flooring with, uh, with the floor mats? No, no, I do not want carpeted flooring in this. I want a rugged truck that I don't have to worry about dirt and grime and all the carpet and that means you don't need maybe the trays the uh, weather techs maybe you can buy those down the road but you don't need them from the get-go because you already got an easy to clean floor now next up is the uh the day and night rear view mirror so it, it automatically shifts which is nice which used to be a very expensive uh package in uh you know for higher trims that was a big selling point the pivot storage boxes which are in the back bed of the truck they pivot out that you can tilt them out for me, they're just a waste of cargo area. They they just ruin the bed of a truck. But some people like those, and they're lockable. So if you need it, cruise control now pretty standard uh, across the board. You know, you don't think of any vehicles anymore without cruise control. The in vehicle safe that's under the back seats there. No, thank you for four hundred fifty dollars. Nor do I need a vehicle safe in the center of this vehicle because it's they just honestly they look cheap to me. And if that's any brands that I've seen, they just look cheap. We're going to get the AM FM stereo with six speakers in this thing. Six speakers beats four. Used to be the standard was four speakers. You get two and each, you know, one in each door and that would be all you get. So now we're going to get six speakers in this. It does not say with subwoofer though. So I imagine speakers in this thing sound pretty good, but you know, you might, you want to play some Jay-Z or something. You might want to add a sub down the road. Like I said, we're going to get the sync 4 a, and as you can see here, it gives you advanced voice recognition, communications, entertainment center. It's a 10 inch touch screen with a center stack swipe capability. So if you're used to your phones, it kind of helps you there. You're going to get app link 911 assistance, Apple CarPlay and Android auto capabilities there. So uh, what does that mean exactly? I don't know. Do they're going to require you to pay for that service? I'm not sure with that. And because uh, I know it's standard on a lot of the higher trim. So maybe that's the way they're saving money. But that's about all the options we can add to this thing. And as you can see, there is our uh, Cactus Gray. Good looking truck. Good stance to this truck. I think it actually stands up pretty well. So our big things, we uh, we started out with our Cactus Gray. No upcharge for that. The electronic rear diff, I guarantee you, you would not notice it in your car payment. And it makes 100% if you're ever, I mean, I don't care if you're sometimes snow and wet weather. You might need a little extra traction. It helps you there. So that was $420. Um, trailer package we're going to do for $500 basically. Uh, the bed in the spray and bed liner was four ninety five, which I'm telling you, big plus to me. And that's about all of our options. So about fourteen hundred and ten dollars worth of options. So we started out at thirty six thousand three fifteen, fourteen hundred and ten dollars in options. Accessories, no accessories. Uh, destination charge is fifteen ninety five. This truck comes out of Michigan, and total price is going to be thirty nine thousand three twenty. Now that may seem like a lot, but you start pricing the new Toyota Tacoma. And if you want a rear locker and some of the things you've got to do to start getting into that package, you're forty-five to fifty thousand dollars for that truck. So I think there's a lot of value to the the Ranger in XL form. And is it the most plush vehicle ever? It's not bad. You know, once again, I think the uh, I think the the cloth seats are very nice. They're very durable, and I think they'll be easy to clean. I like the fact that you're kind of getting that rubberized floor in this thing. So that's a big deal. And well. 
I think it's the uh, for where we're at in the segment. I think it's probably the best value out there. So in the comments below, let me know what you think of this. Are you interested in this truck? Did the idea of you getting a rear locker? Did you realize you could get a rear locker in the lowest trim Ranger? I didn't until uh, I started studying for this video, and that kind of got me excited. So you know what to do? Leave a comment, smash that like button if you haven't yet. Give us a subscription because well, we like talking all things off road, and uh, this one's kind of curious to me because well, I got a Ranger coming. I got a Ranger Raptor coming, so I'm very pumped for that and can't wait. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or these badass Rangers, you know I want to drive. So in your all terrain nation, I'm your host David Boyd, and we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.